Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Um, as I've mentioned in our past <coughs> meetings, uh, tomorrow I will be hosting the Passport Night along with Councilwoman Linda Cole and the County Clerk's Office. It will be from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. We will be processing applications for the U.S. Passport Book and the U.S. Passport Card only. Uh, with the passport book, you will be able to travel anywhere worldwide by air, land, and sea. Um, a passport card is valid for land and sea crossing between the U.S., Canada, Mexico, Mexico, Bermuda, and the Caribbean only. And for additional information, please go to the town's website at www.pemfield.org or the Monroe County website at www.monroecounty.gov. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Quinn. Thank you. Uh, tomorrow evening is the last uh, Kids Fest Thursday at the amphitheater, 7 o'clock p.m. It's the Mike Cornrich Band. Uh, bring your family some lawn chairs and enjoy uh, the event outside. It is weather permitting, uh, so if you have any, any questions, you can always contact Penfield Recreation at 340-8663, uh, or for more information, you can go to penfield.org. Also, uh, Monday, August 22nd at the Community Center on Baird Road from noon until 6 p.m., the American Red Cross will be holding a blood drive. If you uh, haven't donated in a while and you'd like to, please stop by. Also, if uh, you haven't donated before but would like to uh, give the gift of life, uh, please stop by. To donate, uh, call 1-800-RED-CROSS. And those are the announcements this evening. I would like to say one thing. Um, I was driving, this was Tuesday morning, I was heading west on Wayland Road and at about 8 o'clock or shortly after 8 a.m. in the morning, uh, town highway crews were beginning to set up for the day uh, and, and um, repave uh, portions of Wayland Road. And by 5, 5.30 in the afternoon, I was down Wayland Road again and they were already finished. And I think that what, what came to my realization that this was a very good example of um, sort of Supervisor LaFound's initiative last year with the 10-hour uh, workdays in our public works and highway departments, allowing the crews to set up on the early side of the day, work through the day, and get the project done without having to stop uh, halfway through and pick it up the next day. So I just wanted to make that comment that I think that that is um, sort of the pilot program um, under great, uh, uh, great work right there, and I just want to commend Supervisor LaFound for bringing that to Penfield. So thank you. Thank you. Councilwoman Metzler. Thank you. I have one announcement for tonight to encourage everybody to attend uh, this year's Young, Open, and Honest Players Summer Musical. The Young, Open, and Honest Players will be performing Drood, the Mystery of Edwin Drood by Rupert Holmes, August 11th through 13th at Penfield High School Auditorium. Performances will begin at 7 o'clock p.m. The Mystery of Edwin Drood is a musical based on the unfinished final novel by Charles Dickens, who died before revealing a conclu conclusion to the world. The musical takes a unique theatrical approach by following the audience each night, by allowing the audience each night to decide what the ending might be. The show is filled with catchy songs, energetic dances. Uh, you may recall, if you're a regular watcher of, uh, of this, our televised meetings, our last legislative session, we had two very talented young actors um, performing uh, a piece from The Mystery of Edwin Drood. So uh, advanced discount tickets are available at the Recreation Department. Uh, you can call 340-8655 to reserve advanced discounted tickets with your credit card. Okay, great, thank you. Uh, just a, a couple of uh, brief items. Uh, there will be a dedication of the Sherwood Fields Park on August 13th at uh, uh, 12 noon. Uh, that's uh, the park that is, is situated between uh, Harris and Salt Road, just north of uh, Route 441. And how you gain entrance to that uh, park is at the same driveway for uh, fire station number three. And uh, when you go in, the fire station is uh, back, uh, back in off the road, and then the parking lot for Sherwood Fields is uh, just to the right of that. So that uh, will be dedicated on the 13th. And uh, in addition to that, 
there is the Don Cranston Memorial Bridge that will also be dedicated. Don Cranston uh, was the first chairperson of our uh, hiking committee here in Penfield. Uh, Don was uh, active in uh, outdoors uh, and uh, hiking and uh, trails. Um, I had an opportunity to know Don for many years uh, through the Lions Club and uh, through a lot of work uh, with the Penfield Lions Club, uh, friends and family. Uh, they donated uh, money towards uh, a project in memory of Don, and we've used it for this bridge. Um, and uh, Don's wife, uh, Terry Cranston, and her family have, uh, have been uh, involved with, the, uh, with this uh, whole bridge project, and uh, we'll be looking forward to dedicating that bridge. And uh, so I would encourage um, anyone interested to, to come out. Sherwood Fields Park on the 13th uh, will be at the bridge. Uh, that'll be kind of our, our meeting point, uh, 12 o'clock sharp. We'll do the dedication of the bridge and the broader dedication of the park. This park is a passive uh, uh, park uh, to be used uh, for uh, hiking, for uh, birding. Uh, cross-country skiing. Uh, there is no motorized vehicles such as uh, ATVs, snowmobiles that will be allowed, and no mountain biking. Uh, this board uh, was very specific that uh, when we were moving forward uh, with getting this uh, project ready, that uh, we said that we wanted to open this as a passive, initially as a passive, and we would evaluate uh, after the first year whether or not, uh, you know, any additional uh, uh, activities like uh, mountain biking would be uh, approved for that area. So now it's a passive walking, hiking, uh, no biking, no motorized vehicle. So look forward to, uh, uh, to our residents uh, uh, partaking of that and the dedication of the Don Cranston Bridge. And then the last uh, item that I'd just like to mention, um, you know, each one of the town board members um, are liaison to our various business districts. And uh, so as um, different uh, businesses either uh, come into an area, uh, change or modify, or any special type of event uh, that comes up, uh, the board will uh, continue to report uh, out on that so that uh, we keep everyone updated and abreast of what's going on within our six business districts. And uh, I'll add our seventh business district, which we classify as our farm stands uh, throughout the town. Mr. Moore. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. One quick, uh, real quick announcement. The Penfield Trails Committee will be offering a free public hike uh, at Ellison Park on Saturday, August 13th from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, please meet at the south entrance, 1008 Penfield Road, Participants are asked to call ahead so they know who will be attending. You can call the uh, Trails Committee at 340-8655. The hike, again, is on August 13th from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Thank you. Great. Thank you. I have a couple of announcements. There's two more family movie nights, and they're coming up on August 12th at Rafa's Park free family movie night of Toy Story 3. The movie starts at dusk approximately at 8.30. And remember to bring your lawn chair or blanket. And Rafa's Park is located on Five Mile Line Road near Atlantic Avenue. And on August 19th, there'll be a showing of Despicable Me, which was canceled from a June 24th performance when it, when it rained. And it's going to be, it was rescheduled for the 19th. And my other announcement is my next community chat it, in August. It'll take place on August 13th, Saturday, August 13th, from 9 to 10.30 in the morning at Starbucks in the Penfield Four Corners. And that's all I have. Great. Thank you.